Hi there, my name is Mike and welcome to the Autoblog YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to do another experiment. If you follow this channel you've seen a couple videos like this already. The last one we did when it comes to putting alcohol in the gas tank was vodka. We put a gallon of vodka in the gas tank. If you haven't seen that video, you should. I'll link it in the description. But in today's video, it's another form of liquor and it is tequila. That's right. So when we're doing a, an experiment like this, we obviously got to use the best stuff out there. So what we have here is 1.75 liters of Don Julio. It's 100 proof tequila. It was the most expensive tequila I could find at the liquor store. And we have two of these bottles, of course. So that's pretty much close to a gallon of tequila. So uh, we're just going to get right into it here and see what happens when you put a gallon of tequila in the gas tank of your car or truck. Now before we start though, we got to of course introduce the guinea pig in today's video. This is my trusted 1994 Ford Ranger. If this is the first time you're watching a video on my channel or Facebook page, you might not know about this truck, but here it is. This thing has been uh, through some stuff and it's definitely the drunkest vehicle uh, on the planet. Hence the one gallon of vodka that we already put in there once. But that being said, uh, yeah, let's get the uh, one gallon of tequila in there. And I have my little funnel here to help us out. And as you guys can see, I mean, this thing is brand new. It's unopened. Now, by the way, uh, we'll see how this works out, of course. Maybe it'll run just fine. I have no idea. Maybe it'll die right away. But even if it does run just fine, if you think gas is expensive nowadays, one bottle of this costs 105 bucks, and I bought two of them, and that's almost a gallon. So yeah, uh, I mean, it's better than nothing in, in times of crisis, I guess but still very much expensive. We're gonna start the truck up here first because it is pretty much out of gas. So as you guys can see here, the needle, it's on empty and this truck doesn't have a very big gas tank. So after we put a, a gallon of tequila in there, it should actually make a dent here on the needle. All right, let's get started with the first bottle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, that's 1.75 liters. There's a little bit left there. Of Don Julio's vodka. And then we got the second bottle. Just gotta open this thing. There we go. Woo, woo, woo. Ah, oh, it smells good, man. Just need some salt as a lemon. <laughs> All right, well, let's start her up here. We'll see if the needle has moved. Because we do indeed have a gallon more. It starts up just fine. It's not really moving yet. Maybe it will once we get out on the road here. <laughs> One gallon of Don Julio's tequila in my 1994 Ford Ranger. Let's see how she runs. Oh yeah, so we're gonna reset the trip meter here and then we'll see how far we get, uh, you know, if, if she ends up dying or whatever, but yeah. All right, so we just crossed one mile with tequila in the gas tank and there's not an inclination of any kind of issue whatsoever. Man, we're in overdrive, doing 55 miles an hour. Hey man, big up Don Julio. And you know what? The needle has actually moved a little bit. It's not much, but it has moved a little bit because it does have an extra gallon in the tank. Hell yeah. So we've gone three miles with tequila in the gas tank. And like, I don't, I can't notice anything weird or different. <laughs> We're just gonna keep on driving here. Dude, this truck, man. This truck is a trooper. We threw the transmission in reverse while driving. Uh, it did a massive like burnout backwards while going forwards. It was awesome. We threw the uh, transmission in first gear from fifth to first while going 65 miles an hour. 
Granted, it did break. We fixed it. Vodka in the gas tank. I tried to put it from four high to four low. Didn't really work, but the, the transfer case is probably about, I don't know what. I mean, the gears were grinding like crazy. It, it, this truck from 1994 with 161,000 miles on it can take more abuse than most modern cars. That's for damn sure. Oh, oh chirping in second, what? We almost got a chirp in third, too. <laughs> this truck loves tequila. I'm telling you, man. Oh, if you don't own a Junker Hoopty, man, you need to buy one like ASAP. Ferraris, Audi R8s, who cares? This is so much more fun. <laughs> and it runs on tequila. I'm floored right now in third and there's not even a sputter anything we've gone over seven miles with don julio in the gas tank Dude. look at her go <laughs> man she's like floored in third gear driving better than ever shut up all right we gotta try at top speed in this thing with tequila in the gas tank. Oh, what's the max in third? Come on, baby, go! Almost 70, holy crap! <laughs> Look at that, 75 and fourth, overdrive, baby. Starts going slower. <laughs> go, go! Ah, oh, come on, man. We did 85 with vodka in the tank. Come on. Oh, man, she's stuck there. 77, which feels like 177 in this freaking truck. Everything's just vibrating. But she's not missing a beat, though. I mean, she's the motor's running just fine. <laughs> I love this truck. Never selling it. And I feel like we've almost burned through this whole gallon of uh, tequila because I've been driving like a crazy person. And uh, look at the needle. We're about to run out of gas. I mean tequila. Uh, it's 13 miles now on Don Julio's tequila. And still, nothing. This truck is running perfect with a gallon of freaking tequila in the gas tank. I mean, that, that's actually pretty freaking amazing. It's about, I think, three miles to my other car. And then, uh, I mean, if she makes it there, she makes it there. We can pretty much conclude that when you have pretty much no gasoline in your vehicle and you put a gallon of tequila in there to top it off, it does just fine. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, how, how is it possible? Can someone explain that to me in the comments? I'm not some freaking combustion scientist or anything like that. I, I don't really know how this would freaking be possible. I mean, look at this. Look at, at the gas needle. We're, or tequila needle. We're like freaking empty. We're empty. It's still running just fine. We're pulling in here now. An old place of work. Noon Township Ford. We've driven 17 and a half miles with a gallon of tequila in the gas tank. And she's still running just fine. This is absolutely insane. I mean, how is it possible to go through the, the fuel pump, the injectors and everything? How? I thought that, you know, the truck would just die after a while, but listen to this. Still burned just fine. This thing is a monster, man. Yeah, someone in the comment section who knows more about vehicles than I do and like the whole combustion process, all that stuff, explain this to me. How the hell were we running without a single hiccup for over 17 miles with a gallon of freaking Don Julio's tequila in the gas tank? So I'm not really a tequila drinker at all. Um, but if I ever start drinking tequila, I'm not sure if I should pick this or not. Is it good that it, you can run a car on it? Or is it just so like clean and pure that, I mean, you could just drink as much as you want. 
I don't know. 100 proof Don Julio's tequila. Now, if the AMG wasn't our next giveaway car on the channel, I'd put tequila in this too. I, I, I would just try it, but I wouldn't be surprised if something happened in this car because it's, you know, so much more advanced mechanically and all that stuff than a 1994 Ford Ranger. But yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of stunned, to be honest. Uh, like I said, someone please explain this to me in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're stopping by the channel for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Uh, maybe we should put something else in the gas tank. Maybe this thing is just immune to freaking anything. I don't know. We did put Red Bull in the gas tank and we needed a fuel pump after that. So that didn't work. But liquor seems to be the key. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.